So we're headed to the ocean, at least to the beach for the first time, this guy's first time in the water, but it didn't start out the way that I expected or really wanted. Exactly. Yeah, good good geography. I uh, When I overslept my alarm this morning, this is my uh, puppy's first uh, day trip out of Paris. We're taking the train to Deauville so you can see the ocean. Yeah, I didn't expect it to start uh, sprinting for an Uber, so thank you for coming and picking us up. I'm sorry that you had to wake up that way. Merci, monsieur. Okay, oh, bonne journée. Au revoir. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Huh. And got everything. Okay, bye. La, 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 la. Almost left the leash in the taxi. All right. Well, not dropping anything as far as I know. Let's get on a train. Come on, buddy. It's time to sprint. Of course, track 22 is as far down the track as possible. <sighs> oh, literally, all the way down. Oh God. 22. Oh God. Bonjour. Uh, quatre, c'est deux. We made it, buddy. We made it. You can put your head out if you want. It was a good run. Uh, okay. Can you go poop before we go, buddy? Is that asking too much? Did you blow the whistle? No? Okay, for yourself and we don't have an accent. We just made it, man. We literally just made it. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, we made it. That was close. <sighs> okay, well, now we have to find our seat and I have to hope that you don't have an accident. I will be removing your bedding from the bag just in case. <laughs> I sprinted. <laughs> It was like 30 seconds and then, and then they left. <laughs> Hi Laura, you can go back to sleep now. I was like, when is the text coming through? Yeah. When I saw you were in the same car, I was like, I'll just go find them. I have no idea where my seat is, but. We don't even sit. Oh, perfect. We'll, we'll sort that out eventually. So basically, I'll explain to you and to the camera at the same time. Basically. <laughs> he likes hate, no teeth. He's just very excited. For some reason, he eats girls' arms more. They're, they're just skinnier. Yummy. Yeah, they're just yummier. No <laughs> tea. Just so excited. He also hasn't had his breakfast yet, so I'll have to. <laughs> yeah, that might be part of it. He's very hungry. I set my alarm for an hour earlier. I was gonna get up, feed him, get him settled down so he wouldn't be this crazy, and then like show up on time so, instead of sprinting to catch the train. Uh, and I was like looking. I was like. Metro or Uber? The Uber's like five minutes faster. Go! Jumped in, rode all the way here. Oh my god. Got out, the guy was really nice. Got out, he was like, we're gonna go, well, I'll get you there a couple minutes early, don't worry. And I was like, I think it's not until 7.29. I was like, 7.27, okay. Yeah, yeah. And Sprinted. Thankfully I packed last night, so I'm all good to go. <laughs> Deauville. Proville, Deauville. Sleepy, poopy puppy. Well, he's really asleep. <laughs> oh, buddy. You made it, buddy. Your first train ride, and you didn't even poop yourself. What a good boy. All right, buddy, you ready to have a little bit of time on the ground? We'll see how long it takes you to take a dump. Oh, hey, there's a friend. Bonjour. 
Can you go for it? There it is. There we go. Good boy. Uh, I guess we'll cut the footage here, but he made it. From there to there. And don't worry, I do have a poo bag. All good. Let's go. Success. Yeah. <laughs> good job, buddy. Yeah, good yeah, good boy. Good boy. Time for breakfast almost. We got it. We'll get you the coffee. We made it. Barely. So there's Deauville et Troville. Troville is the town just across from Deauville. The train station gets in at the edge between them both. If you cross the river, you end up in Troville, and Troville is the one that is more picturesque and more famous for its food. So that's what we're here for. We're looking for coffee. The coffee places that I know of are closed. And it is a Monday. So Mondays, I think not just in Paris, but all of France are kind of the rougher days. So we'll see. That's a big deal. We have a couple of recommendations for food. The main goal of this video was to show you how easy it is to get out of Paris for a day trip to the coast with a yawny puppy. Uh, and it's been pretty easy. The only problem is that I overslept, which is the sign that we're having a great time sleeping finally. I'm finally getting full nights of sleep, but it means danger time, you know, for early morning train rides. We hopped on the train at 7.30. We're here at 9.45, I think. It's about a two hour train ride normally. We're a little bit late coming in. And uh, now we have all morning and afternoon to explore, see the coast, get some food, have a nice day out of Paris. It's just that easy. Pretty cheap if you get your ticket early enough, but we didn't get our tickets until the very last minute because of some changes in scheduling. So they ended up costing me about 70 euros round trip, but you can definitely do it much cheaper than that if you're on the ball, which I wasn't, but I will be after coffee. And you still haven't had breakfast yet, have you, mister? No, we gotta get you some breakfast, you're sleepy. That'll light you right up. And then you get to see the ocean for the first time. That's gonna be exciting. So if you wanna see Puppy meeting the ocean for the first time, make sure you stick around for that. And these guys, what time did you get to bed? 3.45 and then you made it to the train station by 7? You're a trooper. That's all I really want. <laughs> No, thank you. I was gonna say, yeah. Thanks for that copyright strike, Portia. <laughs> okay, so pretty sure the spot's up here, as I recall. I remember the disappointment of walking up and then being closed last time, so. But we'll see if they're open this time. I don't want to get your hopes up, but I see lights on. Tous les jours. They open at 10.30. What time? What time is it now? It's 10.06. 24 minutes to make it. Should I start crying? Yeah, please. <laughs> Just for the camera, if nothing else. Just replay, please. That's pretty good. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, a 20 minute wait, it's not so bad. They're open. Don't trust Google Maps on. The Google Maps said they were closed until Wednesday. But their sign said they're open every day at 10.30, so. Gypsy, Villa Gypsy, that's where we're going for our coffee as recommended by Kate, the lovely Kate, my former assistant. And in the meantime, we'll just kind of wander around, keep ourselves distracted and forget the fact that we haven't had breakfast or coffee yet. I haven't had coffee yet. Two of them have had coffee. Come on. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, we're gonna get you your breakfast here soon. Sir, yes sir. This is a good sign too for flying with him. It's a puppy side note, but he's super chill. He's handled it really well. And um, honestly, I think, I'm kind of anxious about flying with him, but less and less, and we're gonna be all good. Okay, buddy, let's stop snuggling and let's catch up to the girls. Come on. First handful of food is out and he is very attentive all of a sudden. Yes, buddy. Let's do some leash training.
Gypsy Villa has a Gypsy Corner. There's two locations. Last time they were both closed on us. This time we're hoping at least one of them is open early. Oh no, this one is closed closed it looks like. Coffee and food, these guys are open. And they're just closed. All the sign signs are just closed. Hey buddy, how you doing? You ready for coffee too? Yeah? That is the ocean. I don't want to spoil it for myself quite yet. Okay, then we won't go until we've had coffee. Okay, yeah. You don't want to spoil it for yourself? Yeah. Like, when I see it, I'm not gonna wanna leave. Okay, fair enough. Then we definitely don't, don't wanna go yet. You, oh, you smell the food. This is a bad combination. You put your hand through the hole. It's also the hole's like a little small for him. I'm not gonna let like, this do this way. <laughs> He's so good. excited for the food. You need to put, you need to put like um, on a mission. <laughs> there you go, good boy, good boy. Hey buddy. <laughs> I should not have done this with food in my hand. <laughs> I see the problem. I see the this is the waves. support team. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> and then he... Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh okay. I'm just gonna show you that I've got nothing left. See, buddy? I've got nothing left. Great, now we can focus. There we go. It's a world of difference when I'm not holding a handful of food, isn't it? The only problem with this sweater is the long sleeves get caught on his little thumb hook here. Long sleeves. He's going to berries. Yeah, he's he's ready to go Literally get his boot camp on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Potential <laughs> Shout out to There you go. He needs a hood and sunglasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so <laughs> Okay, I'm actually not not for the camera, but like that was by far the best banana bread I've had in my entire life. She won't stop talking about it, so I was like, well, you have to say that on camera. Like, wow, I was actually analyzing, trying to figure out the ingredients in it. You were going into like I was different shades of banana. Yeah. Different yeah. shades of banana. <laughs> <laughs> the one, I just want to know how to make it, and two, it's, just, it's never been done, I've never had it. We brought another one for the table so we can all see what this experience oh is actually God. like. <laughs> Oh, it's like fresh and warm. That's really good. Is it as good on the second slice? Oh, wow, okay. That holds up. I'm not gonna jump on the best ever train, but I see where you're coming from. No. No. That's great. nice. I would've thought that this place also was like a little, what would you call this store? Like a house decoration. <laughs> Words escape me, but. Gypsy Villa. This place was great. Gypsy Corner looked much more just like a cafe on its own, but uh, have a nice little spot to sit, have a good coffee. Apparently the best banana bread that Ali's ever had. Really nice, just a nice little spot to get caffeinated, chill, and then maybe grab something. Speaking of unique souvenirs for home, like a nice little pillow, you know, or a light or whatever floats your boat. Anyways, it's time to go get Cooper and take him out for his first trip to the beach. We're gonna go to the beach, see what that's like. We're gonna get lunch. Those guys want to shop. And then we're going to go back to Paris. Just that easy. Two hours out, two hours back. Wonderful day trip, especially for people who have non-traditional weekends on, on a Monday. <laughs> All right, let's take this guy to the beach. There's a lot of sun. Yeah. When was the last time you guys saw the sun? This early? No, <laughs> <laughs> Instead of loving her. What is this surface? 
great. <laughs> yeah, come on, we can walk on it. How's it feel? Whoa! <laughs> Let's go beaching. I'm gonna see if someone can cut this thing open for me. Because among the things I was gonna grab this morning was a knife or scissors, and I didn't. Demandez que pour un couteau ou des ciseaux quelque chose. Parce qu'en fait j'ai un un laisse mais c'est parce que j'ai pas un couteau. Merci. Set. I'm trying not to lose the leash because once it unravels, I mean, it's really gonna unravel. It is warm out here. I'm definitely overdressed. Okay, let's run on the beach for the first time. Hey, right, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Can you drag all that leash? Come on. Yeah, come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Who's that? He's a free boy. There's a lot of friction on that long leash, though. Colin. Salut, Colin. On commence en, en parc chien. Good thing that phones are sandproof. Good boy. Good boy. It is a long walk to the surf. Uh, so far, he seems to totally unfazed. Let's we'll see what happens when we get into the actual wet here. Got a uh, little tide pools. Oh, this this bothers me a little bit. I don't want to walk over all the shells. Whoa, that was a lot of water. Okay, speaking of tide pools, we're about to find out how waterproof my uh, boots are. Yeah, sorry. There you go. Boy. Yeah, I know my boots are uh, my boots are in it too. Oh yeah, buddy, how's that? Not so sure about it, but you're okay. You're doing great. <laughs> you do look a little miserable. Oh man, good job. Good job. Yeah, good job. Are your feet okay? I'm gonna check your feet just to make sure they're okay. He's having a great day at the beach. He had a wonderful first experience with the beach. No, he didn't get phased by the water at all. I carried him over the extra shelly bits so he didn't cut his little paws, hopefully. Which seemed fine. He got really tuckered. So then I had to carry a very wet, very sandy dog back and I hope I'm not taking too much of the beach back with me, but we'll find out. Huh, buddy. I wasn't the only one doing aerials either. We got a second set of aerials going at the same time. It's pretty amazing. He's gonna nap so hard over lunch. Deauville is jokingly referred to, and we're in Trouville right now, but Deauville is uh, referred to as Paris's 21st arrondissement, jokingly, or the extension of the 16th. It's where a lot of wealthier Parisians end up all the time, and it is very easy. It's just a two hour train ride out, or you could drive. If you wanna make a day trip of it, it's really easy. 
Let's see what these guys think. Let's see what these guys think about it. This guy is just a sandy beast. Jane of La Cuisine Paris and then a number of other people told us to go to Les Vapeurs when we were here. So that's the goal. Get some lunch, but it looks very full. It looks really cool. Okay, stop. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Anyways, hopefully we get a seat because I'm really hungry, ready to eat. I was able to wash his feet off. I had, a bottle, I had a bottle of bubbly water. Anyways, your little feet are now salt free, but I think you've got, you somehow got more sand on your nose even after I cleaned it off, so. Go sleep in the sun. We'll get lunch. Everybody's getting steak, it sounds like. We're in a seafood capital and none of us are eating seafood, but if you want to come and eat seafood, more power to you. Je suis totalement d'accord. Made friends with the neighbors. The uh, oh paillette, oh it is on mine. Paillette. It's a beer that's made in the Havre, just across the just across the river. Oh perfect. Just like you said, light and smooth and goes down. We're gonna have good. I did get. I, it's scallop season, they said, so I went for scallops. Yeah, I swapped out the rice for fries because I was really craving rice. We got a little bit of seafood going in here. I'm, I'm so happy right now. This is a great, this has been a great day. Uh, sun, sea, clean air, cute dog, funny friends. It's all good. Your salad and soise looks pretty good. This sauce is amazing. All right, let's try a scallop. Scallop season for the whim. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Cheers. That was great. The uh, second shot of the digestif, which is free, very nice of them. Uh, slow me down in the sun a little bit here. I'm definitely ready to go home now. The service there was amazing though. It was really good. We had a great experience. So if you're gonna be in town and you wanna go to Les Vapeurs, highly recommended. Oh boy, you're tired. Okay, I'm gonna have to pick him up. Let's go. The girls are gonna do some shopping. We only have like 40 minutes left before we need to go to our train. And then we're back to Paris. That easy. Oh buddy. He needs more of a nap, I'm gonna pick him up. He's too tired to walk. The shopping portion of the day might not be so much for Cooper and I in the end. Oh, buddy. Oh, you okay? Yeah, you need, you need more of a nap, don't you? Part of the problem with uh, oversleeping and making it with like 30 seconds till the train leaves is, uh, yeah, I forgot to bring a charger with me. So my phone died. I didn't have this camera with me because it wasn't packed. Just kind of improvising. So we went to Deauville right after that and wandered around a little bit. It's very different feel, a very different feel. It's kind of like a resort town more where uh, Trouville felt like kind of an old touristy, but old, old town feel, if that makes any sense. Very different vibes, different strokes for different folks. I had a really good time overall. Thanks to the ladies for joining. Uh, that was, it was everything, our whole schedule's changed because they had the day off at the same time that I was able to move my stuff around. So we all went out. It was really, really fun and relieved a lot of anxiety. If you wanna know a little bit more about that, uh, the travel stuff to do with Cooper, who's currently sleeping off his vaccinations right now. He's got his last round of vaccinations, including his pet passport, which I will show you over on the members only video. That's gonna be going up about the same time this video goes up, probably over on Patreon. Check that out. Thanks to all my patrons for making this possible. Thanks to Mike and Hilda Brunsky for being my patron producers today. And to all my patrons, I'm gonna leave you with some delightful uh, drone footage that I didn't throw in there. Just a little bit of overhead stuff. I look good with the credits, and I will see you bright and early another week on from here, along with some more fun stuff to come. I hope you enjoyed this, you know, first, baby's first trip to the beach. It was fun. It was good. We're all tired and sandy around here now. Adios.